was like stressed or depressed or i don't understand what was happening to me but then there was a spirit of heaviness upon me like you know when you are isolated or when you are just when you feel alone when you feel like there's something upon you or you are depressed that's what i felt when i came into that house Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're finding yourself, it's Leonilda. Um, today we are going to talk about um, an incident that actually occurred or that took place when I traveled with work. There was a, a time, I think it was in 20, early 2023, that we traveled to the coast, my colleagues and I, for a work meeting or something. So. Um, our leader actually um, booked us one, I wouldn't say it's a guest house, but, but then it's a, it's a whole house that um, probably people can rent out uh, if you would like to stay at the coast. And this house um, was near the ocean. It was a very beautiful house. So um, the house had two living rooms. It had um, a very big kitchen, a very beautiful kitchen. And um, it had obviously the main uh, bedroom. It had um, a second, I think a second sitting room up also. They had two sitting rooms. It was really a very beautiful house. So um, me, selfish Leonilda, who was actually the youngest amongst everyone else, when we entered the house, I decided to go look for the best room. So I went ahead of everyone else and then I chose where I'm going to sleep. The main bedroom is what I chose. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, obviously it's selfishness because mm -hmm. I wanted the best for myself. So I chose the main bedroom. Um, and it was, yeah, the main bedroom was not so big, but then it was obviously bigger than the rest of the rooms because I think two of the other bedrooms were for children i think but they were also they were also pretty and then the downstairs one was probably for the guests in, in case the family had guests or so so um i chose the, the the main bedroom and then my colleagues the ladies chose um the other two bedrooms and the the guy the only guy uh that was there our colleague um slept downstairs in my room the main bedroom even like had a balcony and, and i could actually see the, the ocean from the balcony because the house was near the ocean near the sea yes it's good. so um good. but then one thing i've actually realized when i came into that house i had a spirit of heaviness upon me like it's as if i was depressed i don't know i i was just not myself I was, I was really, there, there was just a, a heaviness. I even told my colleague after we came back from Chicago, but I'm not sure whether I told her after we came back from there, but then there was such a heavy spirit. My spirit was so heavy. I did not understand what was wrong, but then I just felt so heavy. You know, when you are depressed or you are stressed or I don't know, I don't even know how to describe it, but then I had that feeling. So after we, 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 we obviously settled in, I don't know what we did. Maybe we had a meeting or something. And then later we went to the ocean and just, you know, yeah, maybe watch the sunset or so. But that very night, guys, that very night when I went to bed, I was still having that feeling, that feeling of depression. I don't know. I really don't know what happened in that house, whether probably someone died in that house or the parents probably argue daily i do not know up to this day i do not know but then that night when i slept no i i didn't i was not even sleeping i was not even sleeping i think i was uh, listening to worship music i just laid it down and when i laid down you know this thing that they call sleep paralysis something came upon me and dragged me like literally dragged me. I was not asleep. I know I, 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 I know I was not asleep. So that thing dragged to me. You know, most when you are asleep and then you cannot wake up, you are calling and, but I was not asleep. And then that thing came upon me. 
I think that house was haunted or is haunted. Um, so after that, I, I think I called to Jesus. I was like, Jesus. And then the thing, Jesus, the, the thing went. And then I, I don't know whether I turned the light on or not. But then the following morning, the following morning I went to sleep in one of the other bedrooms and my 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 colleagues were like oh you are you chose most the best room and all that i did not sleep in that room anymore guys i did not sleep in that room anymore because um and that spirit of heaviness was still upon me even when we went out for dinner and all that coming back to that house i i there was just a feeling that i cannot explain and that's why it's very important for people who like traveling if you go to guest houses or to to houses that are rented out they, I, I believe that there is history different houses have different things that went on in those houses and and if we do not pray about uh, where we are sleeping or uh, just pray around uh, around the entire house um such as things like that what happened to me will happen the the rest of the people or my colleagues were fine but then i had that spirit and Seriously, I did not sleep in that room anymore. I went to sleep with Miss Ndemu, one of my colleagues, in, in the bedroom because there were two beds. Until we left, I did not sleep in that room. And until we left, I had that spirit of heaviness upon me. I do not know what the history or maybe the parents used to argue, the parents used to fight, or maybe someone died in that house. I do not know. But then one thing I can tell you guys is when you travel, for those that love to travel, when you travel to certain places, guest houses or houses that are rented out, some of these houses, if you, 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 you got to pray around the house or inside even inside the house i i think yes we did pray but then i don't remember us praying around the house or for the house um but then um just remember to pray wherever or whenever you go somewhere don't just think that all oh, this house is beautiful and all that some of these houses are haunted and i experienced it that was actually my first time to visit a place as beautiful as that house was I had this period of heaviness. I do not know. I don't know. I don't know why. I just felt depressed. I felt heavy. And the proof was now when I went to bed, I was not even sleeping and some, something came upon me, dragging me down or, or something. Up until I prayed, uh, like I, I stayed at Jesus and then the, the, the thing went. But then it's very, really, it's very important for us, for those that love to travel like myself, um, I had this experience at least knowing that next time or wherever I go to, to, to different places, to hotels, to guest houses, I ought to pray for wherever I'm, I'm going to sleep at. Because these places, some of these places, especially those houses near the, the ocean, it's, it's really ancient. It's houses that are old. It's houses that were owned, owned, owned by people that probably even died we don't do not know the history of these people we do not know what happened in those houses and uh something like that might also end up happening to you and i am someone that also used to love this uh watching this american series of, of haunted houses and so forth and that was actually my first experience to experience such an issue so thinking back i'm just like what actually happened in that house and i would really not recommend anyone to go stay in that house or, or if they have to go stay in that house they need to pray about the house or they need to pray they need to anoint the house but i'll not recommend um people to actually sleep at houses that have history or wherever or whenever you are traveling at least ask the history of the the place that you're gonna sleep in because even guest houses even hotels there are also hotels that are haunted i believe um so it was just eye-opening for me and i hope that it might also be it's just maybe something that you might also one day experience which i hope you you might will not experience where you go sleep or you go to a guest house or a hotel and then something the similar experience happens to you so um that's all from my side um that little story of the haunted place yeah i'll say it, it's haunted or hunted or whatever the english word is so yeah that's it from my side uh do like share and subscribe for for more